With many looking to cut their sugar intake, sugar alcohols have become a popular alternative. Now they look and taste just like sugar, but are they good for your health? That's the topic of this video. As the name implies, sugar alcohols or polyols are like hybrids of sugar molecules and alcohol molecules. Now, despite the alcohol part of the name, they do not contain any ethanol, which is the compound that gets you drunk. So they're safe for alcoholics or those who abstain from alcohol. This is what sugar alcohols look like, pretty much like sugar. Because they have a similar chemical structure as sugar, they are able to activate the sweet taste receptors on the tongue. But unlike artificial and low calorie sweeteners, sugar alcohols do still contain calories, just fewer than regular sugar. There are many different types commonly used as everyday sweeteners, including xylitol, erythritol, sorbitol, and maltitol. One of the main benefits of using them is that they are very low on the glycemic index, which is uh, a way to rate how quickly a food increases your blood sugar levels. Most sugar alcohols have a negligible effect on blood sugar levels. In the case of erythritol and mannitol, the glycemic index is zero. The only exception is maltitol, which has a glycemic index of 36. This is still very low compared to sugar and refined carbohydrates. So for people with metabolic syndrome, prediabetes or diabetes, sugar alcohols, except perhaps maltitol, can be considered an excellent alternative to sugar. Another benefit of sugar alcohols is they don't rot your teeth, unlike excessive sugar consumption. In fact, sorbitol, erythritol and xylitol uh, all prevent tooth decay. Uh, that's one of the main reasons that they're so popular in chewing gum and toothpaste and other dental health products. The weight of evidence indicates xylitol is the most beneficial. However, one three-year study in 485 school children found that erythritol was more protective against dental caries than xylitol and sorbitol. Now, sugar alcohols are sounding pretty wonderful right now, but they can cause digestive issues when consumed in large amounts. Uh, especially in sensitive people. The body cannot digest most of them, so they travel to the large intestine where they tend to be metabolized by uh, gut bacteria. Now this is what leads to symptoms like gas and bloating and diarrhea. If you have irritable bowel syndrome or a sensitivity to FODMAPs, then you may want to consider avoiding sugar alcohols completely. Sorbitol and maltitol appear to be the biggest offenders, while erythritol causes the least symptoms. One other important thing, uh, while xylitol is very well tolerated by humans, it's highly toxic to dogs. Because when dogs eat xylitol, their body thinks that they're eating sugar, and then it produces uh, a large spike in insulin. When insulin goes up, the dog cells start pulling sugar from the bloodstream, but there is no new sugar actually coming in. Now this can lead to low blood sugar or hypoglycemia, and can be fatal. So if you own a dog, keep xylitol out of reach, or out of your house altogether. But in case you're wondering, erythritol seems to be the best sugar alcohol overall. It contains almost zero calories, uh, it doesn't spike blood sugar levels, and it causes significantly fewer digestive symptoms than all the other types. Plus, it's good for your teeth, and it won't hurt your dog. It also tastes pretty good. Uh, it's basically just like sugar without the calories. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you click the big red button below this video to subscribe to the Authority Nutrition YouTube channel.